specialize in vegetated architectural systems and living infrastructures. Everything from green roofs, vegetation, even endangered species habitat on the roof, to the way you move water through your building, recycling water on your site, using non-potable water for irrigation instead of drinking water. You can also double plumb water so that you're not using fresh water in your toilets. The green roofs are a big part of our services. and When it's time to put a new roof on your house, it's a great time to look at that. The roof system is actually a really good way not only to protect your roof, because suddenly your roof is not exposed to sunlight and ultraviolet rays, and it's not exposed to physical damage and normal wear because that has soil and plant layer on top of it. But it also reduces the storm water on your site. Green roofs not only hold the water, but the roof actually acts as a filtration system for the water as well. So you get cleaner water, which makes it much better to put in a cistern, for example, and reuse right on the site. Because we're finding the roofs last longer than normal roofs, and we haven't had any leakage issues to date. Green roofs are expensive. I mean, that's, that's the truth. There's structural loads involved. There's also a certain amount of landscaping that's going on on your roof, which is sort of an added element. Depending on your goals, savings can range from expedited permits, which can be up to nine months less time to get your permit, which for a large project, the carrying costs alone would pay for the green roof. It depends on if you have stormwater issues, if you're trying to collect water on your site. To a great extent, the greener you go with your project, the cheaper each component becomes. The systems tend to assist each other. That's why we start talking about vegetation on the roof, and pretty soon we're talking about water, and we're talking about stormwater, and we're talking about flood control, talking about water reuse. You can start talking about the cooling of the building because you have this six inch insulated layer on the surface. We have a project in Las Vegas where we're reducing the temperature at the actual roof membrane by 90 degrees Fahrenheit. There's so many things that work together. You start getting these economies of scale and sort of synergetic savings.